And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Wow. Um, I've been waiting for this for an incredibly long time, Abraham. Um, it's good to be here. I was in uh, Los Angeles last year, and uh, I uh, thought it was me. It's one of the uh, kitties that you uh, <laughs> gently uh, whack back in the head, <laughs> back in the hole. There's so much I want to speak with you about. How are you feeling about our conversation here on board? You've touched on so many things that I've had present in my mind, things that I wanted to discuss with you, things that um, <laughs> uh, I've been thinking about. Yeah. Um, so many aspects that have occurred to me over the months since I knew that I was going to be joining you uh, on this um, amazing adventure. What we're getting at here is that we are aware of the seriousness with which you take deliberate creation and also of the power of your focused mind and how much thinking you do about all of this and it's all wonderful it all adds to the collective whole and right now rather than trying to remember all of that or even make the very best possible use of this moment in time we want you to just relax and know that you cannot do other than that that all that you've wondered about and all that you know have brought you to a poignant place for a leading edge discussion about things that matter to you and what you're reaching for and we are too is that new awareness of something and so it's not a matter of you catching up because there's nothing to catch up to. Let's just have a satisfying discussion about something that you care about, yeah? Awesome. I'm up for that. I'm trying to channel non-physical more clearly, um, getting that clarity. There are times when I am more successful at it. For instance, uh, when I have done several back-to-back -back sessions of meditation, we're going to interrupt you just please for the fun of it sure there's no such thing as success or not success with that there's just better timing than others because even when it feels like not success it's an opportunity for you to contemplate where you were energetically what led up to it we can give you one thing right away that will help you and that is the tendency is to attempt it when you are in need of some clarity about something and that's the time that you are least likely to really hook into it so you really have to remember that there's a step one and there's a step three and don't try to do step one in the middle of step three those times that you feel are more successful than others are at those times when you just sort of let go more the receiving mode is the receiving mode don't think in terms of, of it being really magnificent what I receive because what you receive is always perfect given what else is going on. There are some times that moments of seminars are so electric that everyone in the room feels it and there are some times when everyone in the group moves forward and there are some times that we have a conversation and only one person gets anything from it and we don't call any of it more successful or less successful because it's always successful you're gonna to have to let go of that self-judgment a little bit in order to have the true satisfaction that you're reaching for you following us I get you let's play let's have some fun I would love to goose up my energy be more in that receptive mode right now for the delicious creation and you know, perhaps everybody here would like to join in they would but here's the thing why now why not anytime why not when you're in your cabin why now focus well, you can do that anytime true I do well why now because I'm here with uh... you always are so why now <laughs> why now because it'd be a great deal of fun maybe um, but why now co-creation at its best showing off possibly yes why not yes well there's no reason not to yes. it's just that 
it never works that way this conversation is really really a wonderful conversation to have on the heels of what we were just talking about because we want you to focus on your connection with your inner world with your inner being and the most difficult time in the world to do that is when you're sitting in front of a whole bunch of other people of whom you have awareness of you see what we're getting at we began by saying even if you have an active question or an active problem it's difficult for you to tune in to the non-physical energy and so we just want you to see this as a private thing as something that you can accomplish whenever you want to as something that's flowing to you at all times and the way you find that connection with it really is with a quieted mind so for us to do what you are really wanting us to do we would need to go into a state of meditation which means for the next so many minutes we'd all just silently listen to the air conditioner together and since you can do that anytime there might be a better use of this time okay okay you're following i'm following